Hey folks, yeah, I've been kind of serious now. Uh, brings up brings up because uh, this case was finally solved in 2019. It happened in 1988. A young girl who was just walking her dog around 7:30. Her dog was named her name was Christine Williams. Her dog was Greg. Um, around 7:30, she went out and just walked her dog, normal thing a teenager should be doing, you know, carefully, carefree life. Um, firstly, uh, she was, uh, in 1988, she was kidnapped in the most seaside town called um, Seaside, California. And seven months later, her body was found near the um, former army base, uh, Fort Ord. Um, during the seven months, a bunch of famous people, Clint Eastwood, Reggie Jackson, Mary Carey, uh, did some announcement praying for um, safe return. Unfortunately, it never happened. And um, in, I, in 2006, um, they offered $100,000 for um, conviction of the, her murder. And the city of Marina erected a um, memorial of her name and UC uh, Berkeley uh, did a scholarship under her name. It was, uh, she was, she, uh, she was recently uh, born in Japanese. Her dad was uh, still alive, so his dad is uh, Meritori, and his fine, his wife was uh, Filipino. They moved there barely. They moved to, over there in California like a year later after the murder. After the whole thing went down, her murder case. Um, they moved to Florida. Now they're going around uh, driving an RV, you know, raising money for uh, missing kids. And. Back in 98, this was near and was starting to get big. And um, I started getting the internet. This was a major news in my area when the internet was really pleading for her safe return. It was, you know, you said messages, you know, have you seen this person? One of the first major people put, you know, things, have you seen this person? Please help find this, you know, amazing young girl. Um, in 2006, uh, DNA, um, found the guy, uh, a murderer. The guy has a big rap ship uh, murder killings. But uh, I always I forgot about playing it in. Uh, during the um, trying to find her, uh, they found out her body of a 20 year old. At first they thought it was her, but it turned out to be a different murder case. So I was gonna say in uh, 2016, the uh, found on her clothing, you know, I'm, I'm just, so smart, you know, these officers, these police officers save these evidence of, you know, these cases later on, they can like look at the records, it's hopefully, but a lot of these cases were, you know, it's hard later on, by the cases were solved by DNA cases, these monsters should be taken off the street. So the guy who is Charles uh, Holyfield. He has a big rap sheet of murder. Um, the trial was for, um, set for uh, 2019, but this delay to March of, 20, uh, March of 2020. And unfortunately, um, I'm um, in a sad case. All these, these, more of these DNA cases will solve more of these things that help bring these monsters to jail, to help out the, um, the going gate with the, the Golden State murder or the, the, the original um, Nightcrawler times other cases I'll, I'll bring it up yeah, in the future and these people have the right like she should be in her um, got being in her 30s now you know having kids having gay married you know never went to high school never enjoy life at 13 years old it's too young especially be you know killed that way and recently, you know, it just hit me. It's like, wow, it's been that long. This was like the first major, once again, it was a murder, the first uh, major uh, news. The internet was starting to come out. And uh, I'll hope you'll find more of these stories, these DNA stories, and um, back to life. I wish I had a picture of her or things, but I'm not that high tech yet. I'm just low budget YouTuber. So, um,. So please uh, like, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And um, all right, bye.